Hello and welcome to another exclusive review with me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.5 million minutes viewed on YouTube. This week, we visit an American in Paris at the Dominion Theatre in London's West End. Winner of four Tony Awards, American in Paris, opened at the West End Dominion Theatre on March 4th, 2017. Having stole the hearts of New York and Paris with universal five-star reviews, this retelling of the 1951 MGM classic has had much hype prior to opening in London. Sadly for me, despite the incredibly talented five-star cast offering a perfect performance, this music and dance production doesn't work in the enormous Dominion Theatre. The intimacy, class, art and heart felt lost in the cavernous 2,000-plus seater barn. Despite some beautiful moments, at times the staging seemed very cluttered and busy, with constant fury of mirrors being whizzed on and off, a ballet of scenery, I guess. However, the live orchestra was spectacular and a joy to hear. Fairchild's physicality, ease, moves and chemistry with Cope was also inspired. With a huge company of over 50 actors, this show is perfect for an older and dance crowd. But for me, it was just a 3.5 star musical disappointment. I wanted to love it. This musical is set in Paris and tells the story of Jerry Mulligan, an American GI trying to make it as a painter in post-war Paris. Robert Fairchild, who plays Jerry, is a stunning dancer and has a terrific charisma and magnetic stage presence. Without question, he steals the show and quite rightly so. Leanne Cope is adorable as Lisa and Jane Asher brings class as Madame Burrell. The entire cast are vocally and physically at the top of their game. With music by Gershwin, you get timeless classics like I Got Rhythm, I Build a Stairway to Paradise, The Man I Love, They Can't Take That Away From Me, and It's Wonderful. You can't fail to be moved by this golden score. There were simply glorious moments, but at other times I was confused. I wanted to feel more. It's a very simple story that felt dragged out over two and a half hours. I was disappointed. This musical felt dated from my perspective, which was surprising considering the clever visuals and 2017 staging. The choreography in places is sensational and delivered with precision by a superb cast. Not for me, but if you like vintage MGM and dance, you'll seemingly, like everyone else, love an American in Paris. You've been listening to another review by me, Alex Belfield, here at CelebrityRadio.biz, where last year we had over 8.5 million minutes viewed. You can check out all of our hundreds of interviews and reviews at www.celebrityradio.biz. Ta-da!